guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a morning routine for you all i thought it would be quite an interesting one to do because i haven't done one of them in a very long time so i've just woken up so now i'm going to get into my morning routine so i've just got changed i've brushed my teeth and now i am going to do my skincare my makeup I'm just going to show you what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing this black bomber jacket, this purple short sleeved t-shirt, my little infinity necklace, and I am wearing black jeans. Now I'm going to do my skincare routine. I thought I'd put my hair up as it's a bit easier. So like I showed you in the video before, I'm going to be using this simple, kind to eyes, revelatizing eye roll on. It's to help you wake up, so I really need this in the morning, so just put it under like this. And you can rub it in as well, which I do, because I think it helps me better. Just like that. Just looking like my other mirror just like that and that is a really good one I really recommend this one you can get it from Boots and maybe online as well but this is it if you're interested and it's not too much money either but it's really good if you you know can't get up in the mornings which I can't sometimes Anyway, next we are going to put on my Pure Active Intensive Scrub. It's Garnier Skin Active. And this is for spots, blackheads, and it's a daily, daily exfoliating scrub. So, like I said before, this is it. I love this so much, it makes my face feel so refreshed. So I'm just going to get a wet cloth and to wipe it off after and I'm going to put that on. So I'm going to apply this now. You don't need a lot. So I'd say... Say about a dollar, but I said you don't need a lot. I'm going to apply this onto my face. I'm going to do it in the other mirror, if you're wondering. You just put it all over your face like so and it's a nice and exfoliating so it gets dead skin as well just put it everywhere makes my face look a bit white but it is really nice and you have to always make sure to wash this off because if it gets near your eyes it burns so yeah this is my cloth i've wet it so. Obviously you don't keep it on there for long, you literally put it on and then you take it off again because you don't need it on there long. So I'm just going to take it off. And it also makes your skin feel really nice and soft, so I really recommend this one. You can get it from Boots, Tesco's, I've got mine from Tesco's. You can get it from anywhere really. Savers, which Savers is quite cheap if you're, if you live near one or live you know, live near a Tesco. I'd say Tesco though, you can get it from, and it's quite cheap as well. Make sure I'm getting it all off. If you leave any on it, it burns. You'd know that if you use this one. So, I think it's all off. It also makes your skin look really shiny. But it does make my, my skin feel really soft. So obviously for the purpose of this video I used a flannel to wipe off the residue of this exfoliating scrub but I just went and rinsed my face. I would recommend um, rinsing your face as well which I think it gets it, it gets it off better and it makes your face feel more fresh. So now that I've put that on I'm going to put on this Nivea lotion. I also didn't show this in my last video as I forgot. But this one's really good it's for, it's for normal skin you can also 
get one for dry skin, but this one is light and moisturising and cleansing. I thought I'd just get the normal one because I don't have too dry skin, luckily. So, just going to put a dollop on my finger. You don't really need a lot, you know, because you've got it all in. And yeah, I also got this one from Tesco. Any of these products you can get anywhere. I mentioned like anywhere in the shop. Let me put this on. This also makes your face feel really nice and soft and it's got a nice scent to it. Nice smell. Like a little goes a long way, so. Next we are going to be putting on my Garnier Eye Roll On for anti puffiness and anti-dark circles. This is really good, I really recommend this. So we're just going to put a little bit on like so, don't need too much and I would rub it in, I guess it's up to you but I like to rub it in so it works more better. Okay and then next we are going to put on my Garnier Light Oil Cream and it lasts up to 8 hours. Um, I also got this by the way from, I got this from, I think somewhere like Beach, so, yeah that's where you can get some, something like this either. or even Tesco, and then next I'm going to use my Garnier Light Oil Cream, and this lasts up to 8 hours apparently, which I think it does, it's basically just brightens underneath the eyes, and I got this somewhere from Poundland surprisingly, because they have a lot of skincare in there, but it's Garnier, so it's also a really good brand. It's obviously the same as this one, so it's really good. And I actually think it does work, so I also do recommend this. So basically, you just need a tiny little dollop, just like that. And yes, with my long fingernails, I try not to poke myself in the eye. But let me just literally need a little bit like that. And I think it works really well, especially if you're not wearing um, any makeup for the day. You can just put a bit of that on and you don't look too tired. Even though I'm wearing a bit of makeup, but not too much today, I'm just going to be natural. So now that I've done them, I'm going to be putting on this Iostream Tea Tree Oil. And like I said, it is for acne, but you can also use it on your nails. Um, in your shampoo and conditioner and you can use it for blemishes, scarring, dark spots you, and it's all, you can also use it for massages as well which is really useful to know. You can use this for quite a lot of things so that's really good. I would really recommend this. So you just it a little bit and then put it on a cotton pad like so and then just put it on there and then you just pull it on any parts that you've got spots or you feel that just needs some extra help you know any dark areas so I like to put it on my chin and here but any, you know, any spots. You can put this like anywhere on your body really. If you've got spots, it doesn't really matter. But this is really good stuff. I've been using it now for almost a week and I really like it. I'd give it a five out of five. <laughs> so that's quick applying. So next I'm going to put on my body butter and it's cocoa for normal to dry skin and it leaves your skin feeling nice and smooth so I'm just going to show you putting it on my arms and then the rest I do off camera but I love to put this on after a shower either in the morning or at night so you never need a lot you just literally put it on like this but I'm pretty sure you know so 
Hmm? It smells so lovely as well. I love it so much. And then I just do the rest of my body. It just makes my skin feel nice and lovely. And I got this from a shop down the town. I mean, you can get all all sorts. So yeah, I I like this one because it's cocoa. And then. Sometimes I would use this Clarisma Care Cream and it fights against discoloration. This is good for any dark areas. A bit like the IS Dream one, you can use it for dark areas as well. But this one is also really recommended. It's a really good one. It's got lots of good reviews. So, yeah, I like to use this one sometimes. I'm not going to today because I don't need to. It's just sometimes if I need to. And then lastly, but not least, I am going to be using this Berry Frost Lip Balm. It's like Christmas. I've had it for a long time, so the lid's a bit coming off like the glitter. But this is the chocolate scent. Last time I used the mint scent. I've got quite a few of these, so this is the chocolate one. So, put it on like that to moisturise my lips, because my lips get dry quite a lot. So, I really like this one. It's got a chocolate chocolate scent. <laughs> so that one's really nice. I'm not sure where this was from now. I got it for quite a long time ago. It came in a set of five, I think, I believe. So really like that one. And now that I've done my morning skincare, I am going to be doing my makeup. So for my makeup, I'm going to be using this matte liquid foundation and it is from PS. I'm almost out of this one. This one's really good and sometimes i thought i'll show you this because this is really good i got this from primark it is a cbd concealer and it's a color corrector so it looks like this it's really cool i really like it and it's really good for covering your bags i'm not going to put that on today though because i've used my other products so i don't need to it's if i was doing a full face of makeup and i some reason didn't want to use those products and put that on so yeah this is really good i would really really recommend this it was quite cheap as well this is from their new range like cbd range i'm not sure what it's meant to actually do other than cover your eyes i'm not sure why it's cbd but i'm not really bothered i really like it so it is really good i would really really recommend it and lastly i'm going to use my kate Rimmel lipstick I really like this one, the colour looks like so. I really like nude lipsticks, so let's go and do it. So I like to use this because it really blends in my makeup really well. I sometimes use my brush, but especially if I'm in a rush, I'll use this and make sure that I've rubbed it in really well. You can also get under eye ones, which I do have an under eye one, but I'm not going to use that one. I think that's blended in well. So I'm glad I've got a mirror in front of me so I can tell. Now I'm going to put on my concealer. I'll normally put that on first actually. Oh well. So let's put that on. Just need a little bit underneath. And I'm going to use my finger. I think most people use their finger. So why not? Sometimes it's easier than using a brush. So. Just like so, that looks okay. And now we are going to curl my eyelashes. Because I do sometimes curl my eyelashes to keep them curled. I don't think there's no right way to do this, but I normally close my eyes to do it because it's easier. So 
I need to keep my eyes open. But I think closing your eyes is easier because you can see the lashes. So don't need to keep it on there long. I mean, like I said, I've got long eyelashes anyway. And then put the mascara on. It's a really good mascara. Mascara. So that's my mascara done. I love my eyes with mascara on even more because it's so nice and long. So now we are going to put my lipstick on. I really love this one. Really nice colour, nude really suits me. So. so that is my simple makeup routine. And like I said, I don't put too much makeup on and especially from like, like I said it will be different all the time this Actually, is just my simple routine if I'm not going out or if I do go out and I just want a bit of makeup on so now that I've done all that I am going to relax and have a tea which I've got here and yeah that's the end of my video now guys I really hope you enjoyed it please give the video a big thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already please check out my art page and my quote slash mental health page i'd really appreciate it i'd leave all of them in the bio in the description below and i'll see you guys all very soon bye